Use this defensive setup to overwhelm your opponent and get easy turnovers on downs. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. So guys, you're new to my channel, and you're new to my channel, go ahead and smash that like, the subscribe button, also that notification icon so you can never miss up a daily upload. So guys, I want to talk about a defensive set that I'm seeing a lot of the pros use uh, right now in early um, weekend league type stuff, uh, and also in tournament plays. Uh, and uh, I went in the lab, uh, I, didn't run, I don't run the defenses exactly like the pros do. I'm sure that they probably have a little bit better of a setup um, for whatever the good reason. But I was able to find a very, very effective blitz that will force your opponent to block six, if not seven, to stop the pressure. Now, ideally, what you want to do is you want to have your fastest rushers on the outside. So we've got basically Anthony Barr with an 87 speed on the outside at the linebacker position. And I took defensive uh, uh, defensive end Daniel Hunter and I put him on the opposite side because he's got 88 speed. So I want to get speed off the edges because the pressure is coming off the edge and you're going to get double a, 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 you're going to get double edge pressure against your opponent with this defense. Now, it doesn't really matter what defense you, you use. Uh, the 44 split is a lot of cover three coverages, but it's very easy to set the splits up. So we're going to use this against cover, uh, just use a base cover three and show you the setups from there. Now, uh, to set this defense up is fairly simple. What we're going to do is we're going to base align by hitting the triangle Y button and then taking our left stick and flipping it off to the left. And then we're going to go ahead and show blitz by hitting the, the triangle or Y button and then actually going ahead and uh, flipping the left stick to the left to show blitz. Now, uh, the next adjustment we're going to do is we're going to hit that left D-pad and we're going to go ahead and crash our defensive line up with the point of attack by hitting the right stick up and you're going to get a, a look like this. And the final thing we're going to do is we're going to blitz our edge rushers uh, by going ahead and uh, hitting the right bumper and flipping the right stick off to the right and flipping the right bumper and flipping the the left stick or the right stick off to the left so you're gonna have a look like this now two other adjustments you can do to make this more effective is to uh, basically go ahead and do QB contained you do that by hitting your left bumper and then QB contain which is the R1 or the right bumper and then what I like to personally do is I like to go ahead and take my guy and drop him down the box and play him over the center and what you're gonna see is you're gonna see some crazy crazy pressure even if he blocks a running back come in and get yourself a sack so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this real quick so you can see right here he does block his running back but it doesn't matter because I preoccupy this center for just a split second and then edge pressure is going to come off. Now, if he does not block his running back, essentially both guys are going to come in on the edge because of the way this defense is set up. The CPU thinks you're sending seven, which you're really sending six, and then all you have to do is just go ahead and clean up your coverages on the back end. But as you can see, the, the, the setting up his blitz is extremely fast, very efficient, and it's a good play to go and jump into as a back pocket blitz, as I like to refer to it, or a blitz you can go ahead and use in a third or fourth down where it's a long yardage and distance situation and they need to pick up yards and they can't dump it off quick. So I just wanted to show you how quick it is to set this blitz up. And that pressure comes in and it's going to force the quarterback to get rid of the ball quick. So you can see it's very easy to set up. And now this is when you actually play a game with the coverages. And now you can cross man those middle linebackers and put them in positions to go ahead and take away a lot of your opponent's reads. So you can see right there the pressure comes in. If he, if he doesn't block his running back or at least block another person, this uh, defense is going to get very easy, uh, very easy pressure against them, and it's going to make it hard for uh, for an opponent to just try to stop a lot of these different types of reads. So right there, I just cross man my guy, and 
he's got to make uh, complex reads right there. Um, what, what are the weaknesses with this defense? Obviously, you've got uh, a lot of one-on-ones situations. So if he does a bubble screen, he can get that that ball out there. Um, there's you know you have to play the seams. Uh, you're going to be sending six consistently, so it's going to be a situation where you want to blend in this blitz and use it more as a back pocket blitz than actually using it in a primary blitz for this game. So guys, if you do like these type of tips, make sure you smash that like button. I'll be rolling out more offensive and defensive tips to take your game to the next level. So to my subscribers, thank you for your support. To my patrons, thank you so much for your support. And until next time.